What is up YouTube family and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be doing my very first ever YouTube workout, which is a lower body session with my five favorite exercises for lower body. And uh, this was six years ago, uh, which is kind of crazy to think it's six years ago, but it is. And back then I was, uh, I was actually talking in Swedish uh, when I first started my YouTube video. At my YouTube channel, sorry. Six years is a lot of time, and it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of critique and feedback I will give to myself today and how far I've actually come in form technique, like mindset, everything around training. Uh, because I know that back then I was kinda, like I just started sharing my own workouts, and uh, I, I'm, we'll see how this goes. So let's just start with the first exercise. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go. So, first exercise in this workout uh, and in my first workout was uh, leg press with a band around my knees. The first thing I see in this video is a question mark of why I'm wearing the band under my knees instead of up above my knees. It's much, it's much easier to control like the extra tension of the band when it is above your knees instead of under your knees. Uh, so this is uh, definitely some critique to myself. Like there's no point of wearing the band under your knees. So we're gonna place the band above the knees instead. Um, and uh, the second thing I have as critique to myself is Today I would probably not wear a band at all around my knees when I do leg press because I don't feel like I need to. So that's the second thing. The third comment I have is how many sets and how many reps we're doing. So I have written three to four sets times 10 to 15 reps, which is a lot of reps uh, to do on four sets. Uh, so what I should do today is probably do three sets or three or four sets, it's fine, it, that's okay. But instead of doing 10 till 15 reps, I will probably do first set 69 reps and really push it hard on the first set I do and then do back off sets, uh, depending on how many sets I'm doing. So that's, that's also something that is uh, feedback to myself. Let's do the first, uh, the first set here and you place the band above the knees. Something I know I didn't do back then was incorporating progressive overload, which is key to building muscles. Because if you stay in the same bubble all the time, if you go to the gym and you pick up the weights that you normally use, nothing will happen. So you need to always push yourself, even if it's just one rep or a, or a half rep or one kilo extra, it's still trying to always be 1% better. Uh, and that's something I know, I know that I didn't do before. Every single time I train now, I always try to think progressive overload. We're done with the first exercise and the note to myself would be push the weights harder do first set really heavy try to really push the weights and do two back off sets or three back off sets with less weights more reps to really try to focus on progress overloading bands are now available on the website my own bands if you want to add band to your workouts next exercise is front squat in smith machine note to self and some critique to myself is I don't really understand why I have a wide stance while doing this exercise. Because like basically when you do a front squat, what you want to target when doing front squats is your uh, quads. Like in general, it's quads. That is the main focus muscle when doing front squats. So I don't understand why I have a wide stance. 
So today we're gonna bring in the stance to a more narrow stance, uh, uh, axel wide, really, shoulder wide. <laughs> Mixing in some Swedish here. Standing shoulder wide, bar straight back going down, instead of having, because like when you have, the position that I have is, it's gonna be really hard to, to keep that position right uh, and not feel weird while doing it. So definitely critique to myself, don't do it like that. <laughs> uh, if you wanna target, like if you wanna do a sumo stand um, exercise, mainly targeting your, your uh, hamstrings and glutes, just put the bar behind your head, have it on your shoulders doing a normal, a normal squat, a normal sumo squat. That's learning notes. Most important thing when you're doing when you're doing front squat is to have your chest up like really push your chest up and if you're struggling with pain in your in your arm wrist when standing like this try to hold the weights like this and to let the bar rest on your shoulders while you're going down uh, tip and note to myself <laughs> so next exercise is a form of sumo squat or as I wrote in the video, you can see in the video that I wrote sumo deadlift. I don't really know what's going on here, but I would probably not do the exercise like this. Uh, first of all, one good thing is that my back is straight. The note to myself and the critique is that on the way down, I have no eccentric hold at all. Uh, and I personally don't think that it looks like I have control over what I'm doing. I'm just doing the movements without doing the movements, if that makes sense. And also I don't like the bang on the way down and that's because I don't have any, any uh, eccentric hold at all. I understand the deadlift because I am pulling it down to a dead stop and then lifting it up again. Using a V handle um, can be a good thing. I would probably not do it today. I'm gonna to show you in just a little bit how I would do this exercise. Doing the exercise like this, I think, I think this will be a lot heavier to be honest. Also holding, I don't really know, let's see. Yeah, so when I'm coming up, this handle is digging into my thighs. Even though I am having a really wide stance, it's like pinching into my thighs which is not nice and that will disturb. <laughs> like today I would never do it like that. I will be so angry and so like annoyed over the fact that this is like this into my thighs. So what we will be doing is to take a spin around coming to this angle instead, which will make the whole exercise, it will make the whole exercise much easier to do with the right form. Instead of standing like this, where the bar is pointing down, this will uh, touch the floor before you touch, before you touch the floor. So when we go around, it will point up instead, which makes it much easier to come into the exercise much better. Taking your hands around the bar all the way out, or like obviously all the way out is easier. Like this, stance is much easier to get right as well. And you can come much deeper down. So, performing. And I can easily feel that I can load on more weights now when I'm holding it like this than the other way around. Much more control over the exercise. So, let's go into the working set and do some reps. drinking ESN EAA during my workouts along with the intra product that they also have on the website if you want to try out any products although my my code doesn't 
I don't think it's valid on the intro product, but the intro product is truly so, so great. I will link both products in the description below so you can read. But basically helps me during my workouts to stay focused, to stay in the game, to, to provide my body with whatever it needs during workout. But if you want to try out any other ESM products, use my code HANA to get the highest discount. <laughs> okay, so I have one note when it comes to sumo squats or deadlifts, but in this case, I would call this a sumo squat. Like nothing bad about this exercise in particular, but I would choose to do sumo squats with a dumbbell instead because it's one much easier to pick the weights out and get the weights back. Easier to handle the dumbbells instead of loading up a lot of bars. It's, it's just an easier way to do the exercise. So in, in my opinion, go for the dumbbells instead of doing it like this. So next exercise uh, is a one leg leg press, uh, which is really interesting because this is also a lot of, uh, I have a lot of notes to myself and uh, a lot of feedback. I can be wrong, but I remember this as a trend when we girls, not only girls, but mostly on social medias, we were doing leg presses for to target the glutes. And this is what we were doing on the side, pushing like this. It's not very comfortable to do. It feels kind of weird. And I would, I would not do this exercise today. What you can see in the video as well is that when I am coming down uh, with the working leg, I am tilting up my whole lower body on the other side, which is not good for your lower back. Uh, so this is not something that I would be doing today at all, actually. So we are, we're gonna move from this exercise to another machine to do one leg leg press. That's what we're doing. So we moved to a seated cable leg press instead, uh, which I think is easier to work with. The thing is that we don't need to be like on the side doing like making it harder than it should be uh, to target the glutes. This, this position that I will show you in just a second will be enough to target your glutes. You don't have to be lying on the side. If you like it, that's up to you. That's completely fine. I did like it back then, but with more experience in my training now, I know that I don't need it. And I honestly haven't done that specific exercise in years and years. Um, and it just feels like I can, I can control the exercise so much better while sitting straight up like this. You can obviously do it as well in a lying leg press if you don't have any other, if you don't have any other um, machine. That's, that's completely fine as well. Um, but I personally like to do it seated up like this, pushing straight from your glutes. So I'm gonna show you how I do this exercise. So note to self, when doing one leg leg press is do it in some kind of seated way. As I said before, you can do it lying. I personally prefer to do it like this. And if I was supposed to give myself feedback, I would say to the younger me, do it in this, in this machine instead. And when I'm doing it in this machine, I can control like the rest of my lower body so much more. I can make sure that I don't tilt like that I don't over bend my hips and I can like really push from when I have a stance like this and make sure that I push from my heels instead of placing any like any weights on my front foot but pushing it from my my heel instead going down like I can feel my glutes so much when I do it when I'm doing this exercise it's only like my glutes pushing and it's so much easier to find the contact and to find where you're supposed to be to target your glutes when doing it like this. Important note when you're doing any leg press is to do not lock out your knees 
really, really important to not hurt yourself. Always keep it steady. Going down, going up, not locking it out because that, like, it's, don't, don't do it, okay? Do not do it. Let's leave it with that. Okay, so last exercise is Bulgarian split squats with a jump. That was, uh, that was freaking hardcore doing a jump after doing <laughs> Bulgarian split squats. I would probably not do that today. I'm not, I'm not like saying that it's, it's bad if you want to do jumping split squats or, or whatever jumping things you want to do, do it. I'm just giving myself critique and feedback uh, of watching this video and I wouldn't do uh, jumping Bulgarian split squats today. Also, the next thing I see in this video is that it's not so much quality in these sets. It's more like the quantity and the, the amount of reps that I'm focusing on of what I can see. Um, only focusing reps and only focusing quantity instead of focusing quality on each set and each reps that I'm doing. It's a lot of like, it looks really jumpy and really unstable and yeah, the quality is not there. I also like that I have a straight back and I try to like maintain the, like the position of the exercise while doing it and I try to push from my heels, but still there's not so much quality in this. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I would be doing today. First of all, I would not be doing the jumps so we can we can scratch those out of the picture bulgarian split squats can be can be a, a tricky exercise to to get right because also you see a lot on social medias what i like to do is to sit like this you have seen this on instagram start by stretching your legs out put one leg in come up this will be the the resting leg putting it up on the bench coming down in the split squat this is a really good a uh, technique to use and a hack to use to get the right stance of the Bulgarian split squat. Longer stance with, will focus more on glutes and shorter stance will focus more on your quads. But uh, there's also one more way to do it and that is to have like this normal stance coming up. What do you want to do when you're doing Bulgarian split squats? I'm going to tuck in my shirt so you see what I'm doing. Instead of doing it like this, making a lot of lower back tension going on here, you want to come up, almost tuck in your pelvis, pushing it forward, not making the booty look really anything really, just tuck it in, come down in the squats and push from the heel straight up. This will feel in your in your glutes and in your quads. If you have like mindset, I'm nagging about the mindset, but because it is truly so, so important. Just doing the exercise like this will obviously give you pump, but the quality again of the exercise. So again, pushing in the pelvic, coming down and forcing from the glutes straight up. This will be heavy for your glutes, 200%. So that's what we will be focusing on today. Doing more quality Bulgarian split squats. I'm gonna get my uh, own new straps and then we're good to go. So some key points when doing Bulgarians is not only the stance, it's also this foot, not having it like this because this will, this will challenge your balance. So try to put it down to the bench and when going down, try to not make it like this. Try to have it straight. I, fi I figured this really, really helped me when I'm doing Bulgarians. 
So try to have focus on this one as well. It's a lot of focus areas when doing Bulgarians. The other one is to not go too far down so that you lose your hips and like the stability of your hips. Not going too low. Uh, obviously we're all different. I can't go too low because I will lose the stability in my hips. So instead of going all the way down like this, as I did on the, on the uh, video that we saw from, from before, I only lower until this, when I have full stretch in my glutes, and then I push up. So you don't have to go all the way down. So make sure hips are intact, back foot is not moving. I've also got some questions on Instagram lately about Bulgarian split squats. If it's better to use two dumbbells or one dumbbell. And honestly, there's nothing that is better than the other. It's just your personal preferences of what you like. Uh, I like to use one dumbbell at a time because I feel that I can push more and focus more on each rep when I have one dumbbell in my, hand, in my hands instead of two. Um, some can feel that two is better for your balance. I personally think one is better, but again, it's only your own preferences and what you like the most. It's not that the other one is better. better. Um, so we're gonna use one dumbbell today and uh, focus again on quality. I will give you a little summary of this workout. Intentions were good. I see where I wanted to get with this workout. I see what the point was, but I would still do it a, a little. I would do it different today. Like in the beginning of the, this video, when I'm sitting at home, I'm talking about my glutes and how my glutes are stubborn and how I really want to focus on building glutes. So I don't understand why I don't have a hip thrust, for example, or why I don't have an isolated exercise for the glutes, gl glute, for the glutes, like kickbacks or some kind of really isolated exercise. Uh, that is a, a question mark for me, why I didn't include that. Uh, but like leg press, really, really good. Uh, one leg leg press, really good. Bulgarians, amazing. So intentions were good, but some, changes here and there also with the progressive overload which is key to building muscles as I said before. In the beginning of this video I'm also saying that my workouts doesn't look the same which they, they should do at least for a longer time um, to keep track of like the exercise that you're, exercises that you are doing and uh, progressing in every exercise you do. It's really hard to progress if you change exercises back and forth all the time. So stick to more a routine is also something that I would say to myself back in the days. Uh, I really hope that you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up for it. Let me know in the description below what you thought about the video and what if you have anything that helped you during your progress or what you learned from the, the different uh, exercises that we did today let me know in the description below. Uh, I will leave the whole workout in the description below as well for you. And uh, as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video with my face. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. See you in my next video.